Hi there, this is Sam, and this is day one after AC joint reconstruction surgery. So, just a, a little recap. I made a previous video talking about my decision why, after a grade three AC joint separation, I wanted to go ahead and get surgery. So now, I got the surgery yesterday, and I'll just tell you a little bit about it. So, first of all, I went to the hospital yesterday, uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, and I got what's called a nerve block, which is local anesthesia for a certain part of your body. So, I got it for my shoulder and arm. And then I assume they gave me some other general anesthesia. Not 100% sure, but local anesthesia is good because it numbed the whole arm for a while after the procedure was done. So, yesterday when I got home, uh, it was able to stop the pain coming on strong for a bit. So I, I don't remember anything of the procedure, of course. I sort of remember getting anesthesia and then waking up in the recovery room and I got an, an Oxycontin to help take the edge off and then they, they sent me home. My mom is taking care of me, being a, a great mom, of course. And um, so how I felt after the surgery, you're very groggy after waking up from anesthesia. It's not pleasant. Surgery is not pleasant, but it's better than being awake for it, right? So yesterday I did not do much. Today I haven't done much either. It's really consisted of sitting on the couch and trying to sleep while I can. So some people have suggested getting a recliner for sleeping because that's better than laying down flat. You're not going to want to lay down flat after the surgery because it'll be too painful. So I don't have a recliner, but I went and got one of those um, reading pillows from Bed Bath & Beyond, and I put two pillows behind that and another pillow on top, and it creates a, a really good backrest, sort of imitates a recliner, but I can be in my own bed and I have my covers, so, so that actually worked out pretty well. Last night, I, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I was in a little bit of pain, so maybe got five hours of sleep or so, but I'm looking forward to getting a little bit more tonight. So that, that was great for the sleeping setup. Um, as others have suggested to me and as the nurses suggested yesterday, you should get a, a stool softener right away because I'm taking oxycodone and, uh, you know, you don't want to be all stopped up when you already have a lot of pain in your shoulder. So I, I highly recommend that. Got some baby wipes to, to clean me up as well since I cannot take a shower until I get this dressing off, which will be, so today is Friday. Next Friday I'm getting the dressing off. So I'll have oily hair for a while. Another thing that they sent me back home with after the surgery was this, so what this is, is a catheter that just goes into the surface of my skin up here in the shoulder area and lets out some low doses of anesthesia, nothing like the nerve block that I got for the normal procedure, but enough to help numb the, the area, just in an additional way to take the edge off of the pain. And if you can see here, I have a, a fanny pack, which carries a, a ball of, of fluid and when I was initially getting my anesthesia, they said I could get this, but it's optional. And I was a little skeptical, but I, I would certainly recommend it. Uh, you can adjust the dial to control how much gets released into your body, and you definitely feel a difference. So it's a little unnerving having a, another tube sticking in you, but it's kind of like an IV. It's not that uncomfortable, and if it helps control the pain, that's, that's all good. So, uh, my plan as of now is to try and work from home on Monday. So I'll have Saturday and Sunday to try and rest up, and I think I'll make another video on Sunday to, to see how I'm feeling. Off and on during the day, the, the pain comes, it sort of ebbs and flows. Sometimes it'll be strong, sometimes it won't be as strong, and obviously the oxycodone helps a lot with that. Um, they gave me the sling. Uh, sort of a 
a big brute sling, you know, the Cadillac of slings, you could call it. And I haven't taken it off yet. I will take it off maybe in a day or two just to, to put a shirt on actually under the sling. But I, I want to be extra cautious about it. So, um, the Oxycontin's not making my stomach too upset. You really want to be careful about that and make sure you take um, or you eat some food before you take it if you wake up in the middle of the night. And other than that, um, surgery sucks, but you get through it. So I will make uh, another video, hopefully in uh, two days, to keep up on how the recovery is going. See you then.